Okay, this fly is a stellar still water pattern. We fish a lot on our lock style rigs, the midge tips and sinking lines. Um, but it's a British fly, so good eye, mate. <laughs> Isn't that what they say over there? Uh, yeah. 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 Close. Yeah. Crocodile Dundee was from London, right? <laughs> okay. No, it, it's a it's a fab. So everybody knows what a blob is. If not, we've got a video for that. Um, but a fab is a foam arsed blob. Arse, for those of you in Alabama, means plug your ears if you're a child. If you're a child, we're from Ohio. Ass. So it's got foam coming out of its arse, and what it does is in in these uh, lock style techniques, it makes sense to have flies that are buoyant or, or have a, a more of a, a buoyant nature than uh, sinking flies so you can present uh, your flies in all different water columns. Anyway, that's kind of a techie subject for us Americans. But anyway, all I'm going to do is just tie the fly. Okay, so this this hook is really good for this for the blobs and fabs. I've been using the Hannock 900 BL. It's kind of just a normal shank length heavy wire it's going to catch all those big gnarly stillwater rainbows anyway and also this fly is jeff creamer's favorite fly uh he uh, saw it in use in utah i'm just going to take some fluorescent orange thread and dress the hook <clears throat> and some guys will split this foam down the middle but I was talking to Lance, and Lance gave me permission and authority just to tie it on the back. So you're just going to go about halfway up the, the hook shank. This is only 70 denier thread because I like how it ties down at the end of the fly. It doesn't have as much bulk, but as you're tying in the foam, you can't put full pressure on it right from the get-go. So what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap my thread to compress that foam and give it a really nice sturdy tie-in. All right. For the fabs that I've been tying, I'm leaving the foam on it until I trim because there's a certain magic length that I like that makes them all uniform. So this is Fritz from FNF, Frozen North Fly Fishing. And this Fritz stuff is very, it's, it's pretty unique. It, it has a lot of really good fluorescing properties. This is actually the, what's it called? Jelly Fritz. So I like the Jelly Fritz. Moves pretty well in the water. And uh, we have a whole bunch of it now, like in a ton of different colors. Curtis doesn't even have them yet. So what I'm going to do is just strip off some, some off of the core. And I'll tie it in by the core. And then wrap that forward. So this is a really basic fly. You're just going to take this and wrap it forward and preen the fibers back as you go. This is definitely worthy of circus clown music, but I'm just going to try to keep talking so you don't do it, Curtis. No, just kidding. What what I'm doing is you can see that at, on some parts of the chenille it's folded over and other parts it's not. So just kind of stroke it back with your fingers as best you can. And once it hits the water it's all going to take perfect shape. And you want to do these pretty dense. <laughs> I get to this point I'm going to hold the fritz up and just kind of wiggle my thread try not to catch too many of those fibers and then before I trim it I'm going to pull all those fibers back and just expose nothing but the eye kind of clean it up a little bit and then trim that off Got a nice clean little head on there. 
And then to trim this off, I want the foam to just extend out a little bit past these fibers. So if you wait till it's tied in, you can always get it to, to look just right. You're just going to lop that off straight. Truly a foam arsed blob. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of varnish. varnish. A wee bit of varnish. Uh, hey Davey, I'll give you Curtis's address. Send him hate mail. All right. So just a little bit of uh, cement on the head and that's it. So tie these in a bunch of different variations. Orange seems to be like the most popular color and uh, we have all the cool stuff, a bunch of different colors of this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and smash the bell. Thank <laughs> you.